College admissions, that special time in a teenager's life when they ask institutions of higher learning to saddle them with soul-crushing debt. <laughs> now, the issue of who does or does not get into prestigious universities has been in the news more than usual lately, mostly thanks to the third most popular actress on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> and now... <laughs> and now there's another college admissions scandal making headlines, and this one makes even Aunt Becky look good. A fierce debate is raging now about whether Harvard University made the right decision by rescinding its acceptance of a Parkland shooting survivor turned gun rights advocate. Kyle Kashuv says that the university pulled his admission after texts and documents surfaced showing that he had used racist and sexist language on social media two years ago. Okay. There's a lot going on in the story. We've got a Parkland shooting survivor who is a pro-gun advocate fighting about college admissions and racism. Basically, every hot-button issue is crammed into one story. All that's missing is abortion, and then you get bingo. <laughs> Done. <laughs> so, Kyle Kashuv, he had a bunch of private messages where he said racist and sexist things, and because of that, he got kicked out of Harvard. The good news is he just got offered a full scholarship to Trump University. <laughs> now, <laughs> you might be wondering how bad with these messages that they got him kicked out of Harvard, well, this bad. Some of his text messages included racist and anti-Semitic language. He used the N-word repeatedly, including about black student athletes. In one thread, he used the N-word 11 times, joking that he was good at typing it because, quote, practice makes perfect. Holy shit! <laughs> Are you seeing that? I've never seen the N-word written that many times in the same sentence. Even rappers would be like, yo, that's too much, dog. <laughs> you gotta throw in some other lyrics, man. Libra, zebra, shit like that. <laughs> I mean, look at that message. Forget Harvard. It looks like he's plagiarizing one of Quentin Tarantino's scripts. What is that? <laughs> and because of Kyle's profile, this story has gotten a lot of attention in the news, <laughs> right? And he's come out. He's come out saying, although these messages are extremely offensive in his defense, that was actually the whole point. Kyle Kashuv says he and some others were trying to be as extreme and shocking as possible when he used the N-word repeatedly. The person who wrote those things is not who I am today. Well, at that time, it was really um, a friend group where who could say the most shocking thing and most extreme thing uh, for the sake of shock value. So he was competing with friends for shock value. I guess he won. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's always funny to me that people who purposefully go for shock value and shock effect are always surprised when their shock gets effects. <laughs> yeah? And it's like, I can't believe this happened, but isn't that what you were trying to do? It's like prank calling 911 and then freaking out when the cops show up. I was just joking. I didn't think you guys would actually come. It's a white neighborhood. We always come. <laughs> now, some people have come to Kyle's defense saying that it's not fair for the college admissions office to judge him for stuff that he did when he was 16. But that's exactly what college admissions does. <laughs> they judge you for what you did in high school. Think about it. I mean, if they're turning down someone for failing pottery class when they were 14, you're definitely not getting in after you've been busted for saying the N-word 11 times. Everyone knows the limit is nine. <laughs> and I understand where Harvard is coming from. There's usually no way to know which one of your prospective students are racist. But if you somehow do know, then why would you admit that kid into your school? Like, a lot of people have herpes, but if someone is listing that in their Tinder profile, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? <laughs> no, it's like, uh, thank you, herpes man. Swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> now, Kashuv, for his part, did apologize for what he had written in those messages, right? He said that he's grown since then and he wishes that he could take it back. But at the same time, he's also pointing fingers. For people who don't know, Harvard was founded in 1636. Uh, by slave owners. It has a long history of racism, sexism, misogyny. Uh, but I think that people can grow and people can change. Right. And, and I, don't, I don't hold that standard to Harvard. And I think that people can make mistakes. And I don't think that mistakes make you irredeemable, as Harvard showed for me, as Fair Harvard point. established for me. Can I give you a time out there? So you're sure. mentioning that they had slave owners in the 1600s. Mm -hmm. You using the N-word was what? A year, year and a half ago? Do you Two see years it? ago. Two years ago. A little more recent. Okay. <laughs> Two years, 400 years, come on! That was such an epic fail. <laughs> what was also magic is how he tried to switch from N-word premium user to civil rights leader in one moment. 
So look, Kyle lost his spot at Harvard because of his old racist messages. And he feels like that's not fair. But the truth is, there are all sorts of reasons people don't get into Harvard. Right? Sometimes it's because of your grades. Sometimes it's because you said the N-word 11 times. And to be honest, I don't think that he has a leg to stand on here. So if I were him, I'd practice my puppy dog eyes and start applying to other schools. <laughs>